to help develop it the <coughs> power supply I've written some software that gives me really a simple control panel it's I suppose in many ways emulating what you'd see on the front of a, of a typical power supply up the top here I've got the volts and amps meter readings here the the color blue uh, here is indicating that that's the metered value that's being read when I set the voltage so if I choose a volt uh, a value here say one volt you'll see it jumps to yellow as it's setting and then it meters it reads back the metered reading you'll notice here that uh, having set that to one volt the output um, that I'm that I'm measuring is 1.005 volts uh, so there's a five millivolt error there and that's down to the fact that the the DAC itself has uh, integral non-linearity uh, in other words you program the code the ideal code the, the the code that should give you the output that you expect based on the 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 resolution of the DAC and you should get the ideal voltage in fact in reality what you get is slightly different varying voltages as, it, as the resistor string is not quite linear so you can see it's 5 millivolts out there if I set it to a different volt, voltage let's say 4 volts you can see that we're only 1 millivolt out there so it's it's non-linear and that's important to understand the Having having discovered that as part of this project, uh, what I decided to do was take uh, a, an approach, a slightly different approach, where when I set the voltage, I switch over and I monitor the output of the DAC, and then I use a, a high resolution ADC or analog analog converter to to measure what what the DAC is giving me, then do a calculation to work out what the offset should be and reset the code. Um, I've also extended that to to then subsequently trim. The output, so it'll it'll read back the output consistent continuously in a loop. I think the loop sets is uh, eight times, and um, it will it will make a trim adjustment. It will um, read back. It will make a further trim adjust adjustment. Now that, and that creates effectively a closing window, so it, so it trims up and down. That really is emulating what what one would do if you were looking at a meter yourself and you had a screwdriver in a, in a multi-turn pot and you was trimming it out uh, so it's emulated in software so if you if we come back to the, the volt setting volts one I've got a uh, five or six millivolt different if I uh, turn on the calibration I'll show you that I'll show you that in a second working but uh, if I turn on the calibration now and do the same thing it takes slightly longer but it brings me much closer uh, so I've got the same on the volts and the current um, the, other, the other thing to, to note here is I'm reading back um, a reference, uh, a voltage from a reference meter. It's a HP 34401A and it's sitting on the volts output, um, a DAC channel. Um, and when I read that, you'll see that uh, I can just press the button there and read it. And you'll see that it's currently reading half a volt. And the reason for that is because the regulator gain is set to two. That means all the calculations are in the uh, microcontroller assuming that the regulator output is twice the voltage of the reference um, voltage going in so I'm, I'm generating half a volt I'm getting one volt out um, if I set the gain back to one uh, by way of an example you'll see that by setting it to one volt I've set one volt and I'll read one volt and you can see the the metered output there um, the the regulator gain is an, an important um, factor and it's important that it's configurable because I'm aiming to create one module that can support different voltage ranges at the lower voltage range um, obviously I can um, I can get more accuracy um, but but less volts so I'm spreading my codes out uh, uh, you know in a smaller window at higher voltage range the the accuracy um, or the resolution uh, is reduced uh, but the volt range is, is greater so if I go to times 10 um, using um, I'm sorry just let me apply that if I go to times 10 I can set volts anywhere from 0 pretty much right up to 40 volts and I should be able to set those in um, uh, 10 millivolt increments now I'll talk a little bit about the noise here you can see that there is some noise you can see some noise and that's that's shown up here in the in the movement here or the, the irregular movement if I let me just calibrate that so we can we can see the output so hopefully I should be able to go in uh, 10 millivolt steps I've got yeah pretty close there um, another one just to just to demonstrate the point now what let me sh show you what's happening with the calibration um, logs when um, when I set a value and I press the set button uh, with this option set on what the microcontroller does it does a calibration and that that looks like that so you've just seen the action there that that's that's the occurrence of it the first thing it does is it sets the code 
um, reads back the voltage and determines that there's a there's an offset. It then applies that offset. It then drops into that trim loop that I was talking about, and it and it attempts to close down the window, adjusting each code until it gets as close as it can. As soon as it hits um, a point that it's that's um, been before, then it stops. And in this case, it stopped on the third one. And you know, it's getting reasonably accurate results. The problem the problem, um, however, with the the DAC that I'm currently using which is the MCP4299, is even modulating it with and extending it by two additional bits, I'm not quite getting enough resolution. I end up with um, what, what is often referred to as missing codes. Uh, let me see if I can demonstrate that. If we, if we go back down to times two and uh, apply that just for a second, and I'm going to set a voltage of one volt. I should get one volt dead. Right, like there. Then I'm going to go uh, to 1001, and I get that 1002, and you can see it's it's teetering around the 1001, 1002. I get 1003, uh, 1004. Uh, it's it's now sitting on 1003. It hasn't quite made it to 1004. Get 1005. It'll probably go to 1005. So the effect, the effect is the the ADC. Dis, uh, sorry, the DAC. Despite the resolution, um, uh, I've I've got which is 14 bits of resolution. Uh, it's not quite enough, and and that that leads me to um, to think that the next thing uh, to do is to increase the resolution of the DAC that I'm using. So that's going to be that's that, I'll do that at the next uh, the next blog post and, and show you the results of that. So overall, the the software is pretty straightforward. There's nothing complicated here. Uh, I've got some diagnostics view. This gives me a real time view of the the various um, settings and readings that are coming out of the um, the uh, mi microcontroller um, got the voltage cal and current cal logs it's, this is the command log so that you can see a sense of the commands uh, it, it doesn't send the date and timestamp here but it does send these commands so V1.005 sets the voltage to 1.005 volts uh, quite simple um, HR, HW uh, dumps the hardware information um, so it's a simple example uh, PR means um, um, PR. I don't know what PR means. I can't remember. <laughs> uh, S3 means status report, and R3 means um, recurring status report. So once you issue R3, um, then all, um, all the status reports are sent back every single time the ADC does a sample, and that's what this is indicating here. So the the microcontroller is we're not having to poll it. It's continuously sending back a stream of updates, which which are being fed in. Um, not really much else I can say about that. The that's essentially the software. That's the power supply uh, controller board basically working. The results are pretty close. I mean, you know, I can get I can get almost there with with that DAC, but it's not good enough. And uh, and I think what I'm going to aim to do, uh, based on what I've what I've done so far, is actually aim. My original aim was to. Um, match the resolution that the HP 3631A uh, power supply, or if I've got that, those numbers around the right way, 3136 maybe, um, uh, was able to achieve from a resolution point of view, which is on the high volts range, it's 10 millivolt steps. On the um, low volt range, it's um, 1 millivolt steps. What I'm going to aim for now is um, 1 millivolt steps on the high range, so 0 to 40 volts at 1 millivolt steps. And on the low range, 0 to 8 volts on uh, at um, 100 microvolt steps. Now, possibly excessive, and it's as much an academic exercise, but that's what we're going to aim for. So that's what we're trying to do in the next uh, blog post. Uh, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.